Um, it was announced uh, this morning that you had won the, the PFA Player of the Month award for the month of January. Um, what does an accolade like that mean, mean to you? Yeah, I'm very grateful, you know, the people there voted for me. But like I said, you know, the moment focus is for the team and hopefully that continues this month as well. And yeah, looking forward for the for game on the weekend. So, yeah, thank you for the people that voted for me. And your, your goal on, on Friday night yeah, it was a pretty spectacular one. Um, was it good to, to score again just after a few games of having not converted? Yeah, of course, you know, every striker wants to score every week. And, but it was not about me, it was about the team. So. Yeah, it was frustrating to get goals, you know, but the main thing was I was getting in the position, you know, last week I had a few series, you know, and um, yeah, good to convert one on the, on the weekend, but I should have got two, but as part of football, I just got to keep working hard on, on the training pitch. Yeah, sure. Um, there's 12 goals you've scored that matches your, your best in Italy in the A-League. What, what do you kind of put your, your form down to this season that you've been able to score, you know, more than the Look, I'm just enjoying every week and... Must give me the freedom, you know, to, to believe in myself, which I was lacking last few season, and they showed on the pitch, and uh, you know, all come down to the pitch you know, on training, and you know, the boys are helping me out, and uh, you know, as as the age goes, you get more experience, and that will helps me too. But like I say, you know, you just gotta work hard and get into the right space. Yeah, it was a it was a draw on, on, on Friday. What do you kind of make of that result in the team since I'm drawing the ball? Obviously, obviously disappointing. I think we had a few chances, we should have put it in. But at the end of the day, I think it was a fair enough result. You know, both teams were attacking each side, it was an open game. But yeah, you know, they're a good side. So, you know, like I say, it was a fair result. But yeah, disappointed not to get three points at home, especially, you know, especially uh, the fans that came out in big numbers. So I just want to thank them as well. Yeah, when you look at the results across the league from the weekend, um, obviously the Jets winning closes the gap there, but there are a couple of losses in, with the teams in front of you, which closes the gap on the top four. So how do you kind of assess just where you're at on the table? Look, we just don't wor worry about Newcastle Jets on Melbourne City Adelaide. More focus is on us. You know, we just got to perform every week. And yeah, like I said, we're disappointed on the weekend not to get three points, but that doesn't stop us every week to go out there and perform. So yeah, it's going to be different tasks this week, different challenge, it's going to be hard, but like I said, can't wait for this weekend. Yeah, for sure. Um, and it was announced you say that Stephen Taylor's was um, Is there any update on what's going on with your future? I don't know. The best person is my agent or my manager. So, But yeah, congrats on him. He's, he's a key member to the squad and yeah, good to hear him for next season. Because in terms of your own future, do you want to have that sorted before the end of the season just to kind of get it out of the way? Or? Obviously, yes, you know, but like I said, the main focus is not, not about me, you know, I just got to perform every week and whatever comes, I'll be happy, you know, so my main, the main target for this season is to get this club to the playoffs and uh, that's what I'm focusing mainly on. Yeah, and you're riding the, the hunt for the golden boot, I mean, does that motivate you to, to try and win that? Look, I, I'm not worried about the stats, you know, if I get it, it would be awesome, but for me, just to, to help the team. Even with, with the goal or without the goal, you know, I assist or something, I do something for the team. But you know, as far as we're getting three points, I'm happy. So if, if I don't win the golden boot, but if I win it, it's going to be good. But like I say, it's all about the team. Yeah, and Mark mentioned last week that you've kind of passed on the, the penalty taking duties. What do you put that down to the fact that you've been out of score so much from, from over play, but just haven't been able to convert from the spot? I don't know. Like I say, I don't I look back on the stats, you know, if you miss penalties or it's cut. But like I said, you know, I just, like I said, I missed two chances. Uh, there's someone else, you know, who can take it. I'll give it to him, you know. And just whoever feels right on the day, you know, just to take it. But like I said, it's more about the team. It's not me, Roy, taking the pen every week. So yeah, if the guy's feeling good, he'll take it. And if I'm feeling good, I'll take it. But like I said, you know, it's more about the team.